every cake is important. And this one was a three-tier beautiful wedding cake full with lots of different flavors. I started the bottom tier with a 12 inch cake. I usually just stack my cakes with two layers, but for this wedding cake, I decided to use the torting method. The bottom tier is a coconut flavored cake with a pineapple filling. I started by getting this layer moist by using some coconut flavored simple syrup. I like to use this plastic sweets bottle just to make sure that I get an even and consistent amount of syrup around the whole cake. I added the pineapple filling and spread it out as evenly as I can to fully cover the layer of cake. Now this trick right here, I learned it from my aunt and it is to cover the filling with a thin layer of frosting. For this cake right here, I am using a whipped frosting as requested by the customer. I added the second layer and once again, I used the simple syrup to get the layer of the cake evenly moist. For the following layer, I decided to use only the whipped frosting and then finish the next layer using the pineapple filling and whipped cream combination to give this cake some contrast between the layers. The results of cutting a cake like this gives such a beautiful and elegant presentation. Perfect for the occasion. Gave this cake a quick crumb coat and into the fridge it went. For the second tier, I am working with eight inch cake. This one is an almond flavored cake with guava paste. Guava is a tropical fruit that you will find in Puerto Rico and other tropical regions. Some people eat the fruit itself raw. Others like to make juices out of them, candies, um, different desserts and pastries. And in this case, I am using the guava paste to use it as the filling for the cake. Now I will go ahead and finish this tier the same way I did my first one. I also gave this cake a quick crumb coat and into the fridge it went. This cake right here is a six inch cake and it's a vanilla flavored with strawberry filling. And the process is the same as before. I also gave this cake a quick crumb coat and into the fridge it went. After allowing all the cakes to sit in the fridge for about 20 minutes, I started working on the finished coating. And with this scraper, I tried to get all the sides and top of these cakes as even as I possibly can. Then I use this texture scraper to make this nice design on the sides of the cakes. Here I am using a cake pan that has the size of the cake that will be sitting on top of this one. And I gently marked the center of the cake so that I could use it as a guide to place these thick straws for support. And this is something that I also did for the middle tier to support the cake that sits on top of that one. Now, I am so sorry for not recording this part, but my cameraman is also my helper. And at the time that I delivered this cake, I completely forgot about the camera. I was just focused on making sure that this cake looked good. But what I did was I stacked the cakes on top of one another and then I arranged these real looking fake roses in a cascade form in the middle tier. And then I finished it with some edible gold leaves and this cake was a masterpiece. Simply beautiful.